Uh, at this meeting, we're presenting data on our investigational product, Givosaran, and Givosaran is being developed for a rare disease called hepatic porphyria, in fact, acute hepatic porphyria. And these are disorders of heme metabolism that occur in the liver that can result in buildups of toxic metabolites, two metabolites in particular known as ALA and PBG. And these, these metabolites are actually quite damaging to the nervous system and to the nerves. And so the patients, predominantly women who have this disorder, which can affect over 5,000 people uh, in the US and Europe, um, develop painful attacks of chronic pain where they can have um, neuropathy, they can actually have, in some cases, paralysis, seizures, respiratory failure, uh, gastrointestinal disturbances, and it can be very disabling. Uh, it often goes undiagnosed for oftentimes a decade or more. Uh, and so uh, there's very limited treatment options for these individuals, and so we're developing uh, Givosaran as a novel therapeutic. And what it does is it works upstream uh, of where those toxic metabolites build up to try and prevent the accumulation of them. And what we've shown at this meeting for the first time is that not only can we reduce the buildup of those toxic metabolites, ALA and PBG, uh, but we actually are showing data in a first cohort of patients that we can actually reduce the frequency of attacks that these patients have. In fact, we reduce the overall frequency of attacks by 74%. We reduce their need for an, the available therapy, which is hematin, by 75%. And importantly, we increase the duration of time between attacks that these patients experience tenfold. And so this is really encouraging data uh, that we're presenting here for the first time uh, a novel treatment option for patients suffering from this very disabling condition. Uh, in terms of safety overall, the data that we're seeing from the first two cohorts of patients treated with Givosaran uh, is that it appears to be generally well tolerated. What we are seeing is that in some uh, patients with the subcutaneous injection that they can have injection site reactions. Uh, some patients reported some muscle aches, uh, but these were mild uh, and will continue to follow the safety profile as we uh, advance the drug into more and more individuals. Um, Overall, uh, we're really excited about the pipeline that we have at alnylam. Uh, we have multiple medicines using this novel technology of RNA interference that we're hopeful can really transform the lives uh, of patients with high unmet medical need.